Ooh, oh yeah. <laughs> it's that time. Oh, everyone's pressed this one already. All right. It is time. It is four o'clock. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Lunch Break. Yes, everybody who's watching me on Instagram and on Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, uh, Facebook, all those places. Welcome to Lunch Break. I am your host, Christian Knight. I'm going to put you down because I don't want to drop you by mistake. Hopefully I don't drop you by mistake. <laughs> what up, Amber? <laughs> nice! Dark Ambrosia in the house. Um, yes, yeah, so... Welcome to Lunch Break, the show that brings you the many foods you can make during your break at lunch, in a dorm, in your house, in quarantine. Oh, season 5 already. Yes, Season 5. This is where we're at. Season 5. So, you are watching episode 111. 111 for those who love backwards and forwards. I don't know what it is called, but yes, welcome to Lunch Break. What up, Doc? Doc is on. Fire made it to, to the cookie. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So, yes, of course, we are in season five, people. Thank you, everyone who's been here, who's been literally watching, and who's started watching Lunch Break. Thank you, thank you guys for being here. What up, Isaiah? <laughs> Ooh, meatloaf. Oh, I'm going to... Listen, listen. Shh. Yes, yes. So, all right, so Isaiah already said so I'm going to say, you are watching season five, episode seven, where we're making today meatloaf. But, but, if anyone knows, and mind you, anything we do here on the show is our first time. Um, normally, meatloaf takes about an hour and, and so to make. But, because we are lunch break, and we're going to take it back to the roots of what how lunch break was created. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a meatloaf with the microwave. That's right. You guys heard it. You've seen it. That is what we're doing today. So, on today's episode, we are making meatloaf. And we're starting it with some white rice on the side. Blah, blah, blah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All that's goodness. So, thank you, everybody, who has been here. Um, I, I like to take a moment to thank everyone out there from deliverymen, nurses, doctors, uh, firemen, policemen, all of us as well. You know, um, right now, we should all think about our safety and make sure that we're all able to see each other tomorrow. Like, for, for reals, man. We got to do that. Like we really, really, really got to do that. So, thank you all of you guys for being here and taking time out of your, your day, your busy day, because I know everybody's busy, and allowing me to be in your living rooms and your house and everything. Salty! What up, Salty? <laughs> so, yeah, so thank you once again to all of you. I greatly appreciate all of you, all the love and all the support. Um, from the littlest to the biggest, you know, like I said, um, it's all welcome, man, and we all strive to be here to get stronger, be stronger, and be successful together. So, definitely, thank you, all of you. You guys deserve the many applause that you can make. Because, look, we are on a hundred and uh, we are on our a hundredth and eleventh episodes. Jesus Christ, whoever thought we would ever get to that? I didn't. <laughs> You're in the kitchen of work for me. <laughs> See. <laughs> Nice, nice. I like that idea. <laughs> so, yeah, so we are making meatloaf today. And we're not making it in the, in the normal way because, like I said, we're going to be making it here in the microwave. And I'm going to show you how to do it. It takes about a 15-minute process, but we're going to get down, get your pens ready, get all the ingredients ready. Because you might have all of this already in your home with the exception of maybe like one of the ingredients you might not have in the house. But, listen. You don't have to do it because if you have your own recipe to make meatloaf, you can do you. That's it. There's no real right and wrong way of doing food in the kitchen. There's just bad tasting food that, listen, even if I make it, I still eat it. That kind of sounds bad. Where's my wife in there? Hey, Angel, what up, buddy? How's up, man? Welcome back. I haven't seen you in a while, man. I got I to gotta send you the, the episode where we made your birthday shout out. So, so this is where you can watch it. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, of course, the first thing you're going to need is, a, is basically ground turkey. But, 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 before we get to this nice delicious treat over here, let's find out the knowledge base, the drunk history, as James would call it, of what meatloaf came about. Because that's the whole point, right? Education with food and knowledge. 
So when we get educated in our brains and our minds, we get it more even more hungry. <laughs> Cause that's what, I, that's what I wanna do. I wanna make you guys hungry. <laughs> Hook me up. <laughs> so yeah, so meatloaf is a dish of ground meat. Ah, oh, Jesus, I can never run away from that. That has been combined with other ingredients and formed into the shape of a loaf. So yeah, so we'll be using a mold, silicone mold by the way, people, to make whoosh, our meatloaf. Look at that. New, new. As you can see, we use this a lot. So well, my wife does. I, I don't. I don't really cook. I don't cook. So yeah, so we'll be using that <laughs> to cook our, our meat, our meatloaf today. Um, so the final shape is either hand formed on a baking tray or pan formed. Ooh, what is pan formed? By cooking in, cooking it in a loaf pan. Oh, I guess yeah. Pan, pan form, right? Duh, that makes sense. Pan form. Duh. Um, it is usually made with ground beef, although ground lamb, pork, veal, venison, poultry, turkey, and seafood are also used, sometimes in combination. What? Hold up. Wait, hold up. You mean to tell me someone is mixing seafood with regular meat together? I thought you only did that with rice. We're sinister. Yo, someone get sinister. I need to know about this. Angel said, you're going to make me hungry. Put some red wine. <laughs> Listen, I wish I had some red wine, but I, I think we drank the last of it, so we gotta get more. Um, I gotta have sinister. Uh, tell me about that. I, I want to know about that. Um, so, in the 1940s, meatloaf was an emblem of wartime ingenuity. Ooh. This was the era of penny prudence called vitality loaf. To me, when it sounds vitality, it sounds like energy, right? Um, it was made with beef, pork, and liver. Uh, whoa, liver. Oh, I would have to say no to that. Uh, the Culinary Art Institute published the recipe for savory meatloaf um, that calls for beef, vegetable soup, and cereal. Meatloaf became an expected option at American diners. Wait, why cereal? What's going on here? Did people just take out certain, omit things, certain things while they were making this? Hey Dan! Come with that! That be for the meatloaf. Of top meats and offal preserved within a hefty layer of gelatin. The Ur American meatloaf was born in the 18th century courtesy of the Pennsylvanian Dutch settlers who were partial to an austere concoction called Scrapple. What? What up, Jordan? How you doing, brother man? <laughs> what? Wait a second. My mind is being blown just from the meatlo meatloaf alone. Wait a second. First, they had, they put in seafood in it, and then the first ones had cereal in it? Oh, wait, wait, okay, I get it. So the cereal was to cover the breadcrumbs. I, 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 I. Jordan, what the <laughs> Thank you, Jordan, for the sorry, man. It's scaring the shit out of me. By the way, I, I left my OBS on so I can hear um, all the, um, what you call it, all the sounds and stuff from this. Thank you, Salty, appreciate that. Oh, by the way, give a big, warm, awesome applause and welcome to Salty. Um, because he's the moderator for our Twitch, so he's awesome. He's he's humble. He's warm-hearted. Give him up. Give it up to Salty HD, Salty BTW, which I still love that. I, I, I don't know what it is, but I love that name. I love that name. I'm gonna have to just come over and take your name. <laughs> which I'm still waiting for the freaking Twitch to to freaking approve the damn emo, and I'm still waiting for it. And it still says approval, so I don't know what's going on. But yeah, so. Alright, before I get killed because I'm I'm talking too much and we're not getting to the nitty gritty of doing this, let's do this. So the first thing you're gonna need is whatever ground meat you're gonna use for the meatloaf. Because you know it's ground meat. Meat loaf ground yeah. So we're gonna take our ground turkey here. Cut it open. Bam. And we're gonna put this inside our bowl. 
get our mixing bowls over here. Bam. Okay. And hopefully this is defrosting good enough because this thing is going to be cold. Legit cold. Hey, what up, James? That's my style. <laughs> They're not mixing seafood in the meatloaf. That's what it says, though. The, they combine ingredients that they mean like beef, veal, and pork, like meatballs. But you can make a meatloaf out of seafood. Ooh. Okay. All right, James. See? Thank you. See? Because I would have known. All right, so we got our <clears throat> meat in the bowl. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing you're gonna add into this number, everybody, grab your pens. This is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need one large egg lightly beaten. So before we do that, I wanna separate this a little bit because I wanna mix this properly and let everything come into this. So let's get our dandy, beautiful masher that our wife Melissa has bought in. So we can separate this. You make sure you defrost your meat at least six to eight hours beforehand. So in this way, what I'm doing doesn't take you long. Uh -oh. There we go. But at least the rough part is done, see? Once you get to the hard part, <clears throat> I'm just saying, you should be good. <laughs> there we go. Nice. It's like paper. No, it's not. <laughs> we'll talk about it's not like paper at all. I was gonna say it's like mashed potatoes. Is it like mashed potatoes? Can I say that? I just say that though. Alright. There we go. And, then, and of course, let's take out the extra meats that have been taken out of this because we don't want to waste any of the meat. <clears throat> of the ground turkey. <clears throat> yeah. That's what I mean. Actually, we don't need that no more. And of course, my dandy towel keeps falling. I just put it aside. All right, so the first ingredient you're gonna need in this is an egg. And what you're gonna do with the egg is <laughs> what up, sinister? I was looking for you. Oh, sinister just said, "Let's go, bro." All right, so you're gonna need one egg beaten, like beat the crap out of it. Tell them it owes you money, like that. <laughs> then put it over it, right? You got that. And make sure you take your spoon. Did she use but <sighs> someone used my spell. Now I gotta get another one. Give me one second. Alright, we got another spoon. We don't leave no ingredients left behind. There we go. Alright. So we got the egg. The egg is done. The next ingredient you're gonna need is about two tablespoons of ketchup. Alright? I'm a little late, but here. No! Listen, there's no lateness, man, when it comes to anything. It is an honor and a pleasure having you at any given moment. So don't worry about that, brother man. You're good. Alright, so two tablespoons of ketchup. So we did the egg. Now we're putting in the two tablespoons of ketchup. No you no ketchup left behind. Alright. One. Now, next one. You're gonna need two tablespoons of mustard. Whatever you prefer, spicy, regular, Dijon, it's up to you. I'm using spicy mustard by the way. So here's our two tablespoons of mustard. Oh, and of course, let's switch you guys so you guys can see the action here on Instagram. There we go. All right, that's it. Next, you're going to need Half a cup of dry breadcrumbs. Any breadcrumbs you prefer, regular plain, Italian, panko bread if you want. We're going to be using panko bread apparently. You know, not apparently, but of course we're going to be using panko bread. <laughs> hey, Kyle, what up? I'm excited to see this. I've never had meatloaf. Listen, and you've never had meatloaf in the way we're going to do it because the normal way would be the oven or the toaster oven, right? Something like that. But we're making it <clears throat> in the microwave. Oh yeah, because regular meatloaf takes about an hour or so to make. We're at lunch break. We don't take. We don't have time for that. So we're gonna do it in 15 minutes. All right. So we got it in the breadcrumbs. Spread the love in there. 
Now, the next one you're going to need, I, this is the ingredient that I say you might not have at home, so you might have to get it, or you can use a recipe to create your own. So you're going to need two tablespoons of onion soup mix, which we have right here. Oh, yeah. And this thing is dangerous. I rather just eat this already. How about that? Done. Hey, thank you everyone for coming. Here's the show. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right, so onion soup, that, uh, onion soup mix. Done. You guys ready for this now? And then the last part is all you need is one quarter teaspoon of salt and one quarter teaspoon of black pepper. So I already combined both of them into one to make it easier instead of separating. So we got it right here. Bam. All done. Ready to go. Ready to mix. Oh. Hey, babe. The wife is on. Woo. All right. So let's mix this thoroughly in here. And you want to make sure you get every nook and cranny of your meat. Oh, my God. Of your ground meat. I still can't say it properly. <laughs> of your ground, whatever it is you're mixing together. Because <laughs> you want all the flavors to literally take in every single ingredient that you made in here. Like legit. Like spend some time mixing that sucker. Even if you have to use your hands. I'm looking at the messages. All right. So we're going to give this a thorough mix. As I flatten and mix them together, and then we're gonna use our dandy little pan, silicone pan. Ooh, I got some ketchup over here. Um, to pour it in or place it in. Place it in? Is it called place it in or pour it in? We're not pouring because it it's not liquid, right? We're gonna put it in. Oh, wow! I didn't think about that as that left my mouth, and I'm still doing it. Well, I'm doing it. Dang it, babe! See what's happening? No bueno. No bueno. Wow, this is, yo, this smells pretty good though. Nice. This actually is coming out pretty good. Yeah, I, I would have wished to add maybe some like whole garlics into this. You know, like chopped up garlic, just put it in there in like little pieces. I would have loved to do that. But you know, this recipe doesn't say that, so. Alright, so now, now that this is mixed, as you can see, Right? You guys can see that? It's all mixed? You guys want to see it closer? Want to see the, the niceness of what this meat looks like? <laughs> Alright, let's take this and start putting it inside our loaf pan. Alright, now I have to use my hands for this. So I'm going to start covering at least the bottom so I can see how much of this is going to cover. Spread this evenly. All right. And the last portions. There we go. No left behind. to help the rest of this down oh this is perfect this was the perfect size look at that oh and it's gonna make a nice little uh like indentation on the side too i want to make sure that they all even and they have enough space Perfect. Now, we're done with that, right? Let's wash my hands. All right. So other than that bad, so we did a mixture of, give you guys a peel. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, what did I say? Uh, I'm trying because of what happened? <laughs> Wait a second, what just happened? Uh, Melissa said, hauling ass out of the office, I'm exhausted and had second COVID shot. Yes, I know that one, babe. I, I got some stuff prepared for you. 
Um, shout out to Melissa on the front lines, out here saving lives. Yes, shout out to all those healthcare workers and my wife Melissa and everybody on the Twitch fam and everybody all over the place. Um, stop being fresh and showing off your meat. Oh my God! What? <laughs> and yeah, I read it. Oh damn it! <laughs> Dude, I love those silicone. Yes! Listen, no lie, Melissa found a whole ton of it. And, and shameless plug, because I'm not, they're not promoting us, they're not giving us any whatever. Melissa found a whole nice ones, a whole bunch of them, really nice ones, at Aldi's. <clears throat> I'm just saying, go check your local <clears throat> Aldi's um, for these silicone molds. Because there's some nice ones that Melissa found. Like, really, 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 really nice ones. I'm just saying. I don't know if there's an Aldi's by you, though. Um, but this works. So now, all we did here is combined uh, our ground turkey, one egg, uh, ketchup, mustard, breadcrumbs, onion soup mix, salt, black pepper, and of course I already mentioned the ground meat. Now comes the interesting part, right? Because like, okay, well, what are we gonna do with this now? We're gonna stick this in the microwave. Yeah, you heard me. We're sticking this in the microwave, babe. It's going in the microwave. Okay. Going in the microwave for 10 to 12 minutes. You're seeing it happen. It's going in. It's inside the microwave. <laughs> this is very intense. I'm closing the door, babe. <laughs> what did they say? Uh, silicone is the best. Way better to cook and bake it. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> I'm pressing 15 minutes. Well, I, wait, what am I saying 15 minutes? I'm probably 12 minutes. And I'm pressing start, babe. It's in the microwave, people. That is how you're going to be making your meatloaf. But it's not done yet because the meatloaf, remember, when you make meatloaf, uh, certain meatloaves dry out. Oh, Jesus. I can't get away from certain words. This is what happens when you become an adult from a kid. Um... I've got 911 on speed dial. <laughs> what the hell? Um, so yeah, so that's all we do. So, um, like I said before, we're going to be siding this with some white rice, which as you can see, um, I already took it out. So we got our white rice in here. Um, and if you've seen from other episodes, you already know what I do with these. I put some adobo seasoning into it, some garlic powder, some chives, and some oil into it so at the moment as you can see it's nice and hard because I let it marinate a little bit before I do the rice yeah look at that because mm. this smells good dry you know there's certain uh, products like I said shameless plug that you have to cook them because they include certain like pasta in it with rice um, and you have to cook it a little bit to season it a little bit to marinate and then you add the rest of the, the ingredients and the water and all this stuff and whatever so we have all the ingredients that I just mentioned in here, and as I learned from Melissa, yeah, I learned this from Melissa, because I'm not a cook, I'm just a survival chef. I learned from Melissa that when you do any type of rice, you add an extra half for the water. So there's two pounds, that's wrong, there's two cups of rice in here that we're going to add two cups and a half of water. Bam. Now what we're going to do is make sure... It's mixed thoroughly. We're gonna pit it, place it in our rice cooker so that the rice cooker can do its thing. I ain't doing my thing, it is. So we're gonna place it inside. We're gonna put down cook and that should be ready in 20 minutes. So that's, that's the rice part. That's what's gonna go for our side. Uh, dry meat, no bueno. <laughs> Yeah, so thank you for bringing it back up, babe. So yeah, so as you know, meatloaves in general get dried out. So most of the time what they do is that they create this sauce that they can pour over it while it's cooking or after um, for the actual dish. I'm going to show you what we're going to use because, mind you, we're doing it in the microwave of what we're doing. Yeah, so this is what we're going to do. And by the way, major shout out once again to Jordan for subscribing because... Listen, that dude is awesome. I love that dude, man. Listen, go show him some love and support. As Salty already put, pointed out on Twitch, if you're watching on the Twitch. 
Um, Flyboy Jordan number 10. Go show him love. Tell him CK sent you that way. Or go visit his Instagram. But you can't remember what it is at the moment. Because I'm bad. I can't remember people's names. That's most so good right now. So, hey. Right. So now, grab your pen and paper once again. Because now I'm going to show you what to do for the glaze ingredient. Okay? So grab that pen and paper, people. Because we're going to start. So we're going to use this cup right here to create our glaze. Right? We're going to pour everything into this. The first thing you're going to do. Uh, nude. Nude. Re really? Really? What the fudge am I talking about? The first thing you're going to need. <laughs> Um, is three tablespoons of ketchup. <laughs> Jeez. I'm getting too hungry. What up, Dad? No, two cup of rice, two cup of water. <laughs> that was from my dad. <laughs> Listen, if I do that, it's gonna come out dry in the machine, in the the rice cooker. Yeah, it comes for some reason. It, it it's not the same as you would be able to control it on the stove. So that's why I do that. <laughs> So we got three tablespoons of ketchup, right? This is for our glaze, right? We're gonna take the ketchup, put it into our cup. Don't leave no ketchup behind. There we go. All right. Next. The next thing you're gonna need for this, for this, what the? Well, I have a sense to say you should call it essence, not glaze. <laughs> too. <laughs> um, Alright, so we got the ketchup. Now you're going to need six tablespoons of brown sugar, people. Yes, six tablespoons of brown sugar. This is what it says. Leave me alone. It's not my recipe. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, damn. And the last part that you need for this is two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. That's all you need. Apple cider vinegar. So, I'm going to put you guys down this way for the Instagram. So, here's the apple cider vinegar. Alright. So, we got the ketchup, we have the sugar, and we have the apple cider vinegar. Make sure you thoroughly, thoroughly, completely Mix this. Man, this smells very sweet. I feel like drinking it. Dave said, grilling tip. Put an ice cube in the middle of your burger patties when grilling. I wonder if that will work when microwave. Oh, that's a good question. But you know, I heard and I saw a video where someone put an ice cube, an ice cube in the microwave for bread and the ice cube did not melt. So, who, who can verify that and can vouch for that? Because that's what I saw. Right, I'm going to put you guys back up here. Ooh, that smells pretty good. Alright, so, this is going to be our glaze. So, we're going to mix this very, very thoroughly. Because we want to make sure the sugar, the apple cider, and the ketchup makes a nice essence. See, I used the word properly, right? Essence. There you go, Dark Ambrosia. <laughs> Might be too soggy. I don't know, look! Well, technically, this still has to go in the microwave with it. So, uh, once you do the glaze prep, um, and the 10 or 12 minutes are up on the meatloaf, you take it out and you put the glaze over it. First, you check the meatloaf to make sure that it's 160 degrees. Then put the glaze over it and then place it back in the microwave for three minutes. That will conclude the 15 minutes that it will take to make the meatloaf. And then let it stand for a few minutes before you slice into it. <laughs> Let's go. I'm shaking. Look, I'm stirring it. I'm stirring it. Okay, I'm stirring it. Oh my god, yo, this smells so good. Adding the ice cubes are. Oh! Really? Babe, Sinister said that, yes, adding the ice cube. Oh my god, that smells so good. I want to eat that. <laughs> Alright, so, I'm going to continue mixing this. The 
Is there a little bit more sugar left on top? Should I be using a whisk for this and stuff? You know what? I'm going to use a whisk. Hold on. I feel like I'll, I'll have more control if I use a whisk, right? Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, we're we're wisping now, right? Whisking? Wisping? Is it called whisking? Wisp, wisping? God, this, that doesn't look right. <laughs> that doesn't look right. <laughs> you, that doesn't look right for me. <laughs> I'll do barbecue sauce or liquid smoke for smoky flavor. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Well, while you guys are here, give me one second. I'll be right back. We gotta get our temperature gauge module. Alright. So, in the meantime, because this is about to stop in about three minutes, I want to take the time to say happy birthdays to a few individuals that are birthday week people on this week. That didn't make sense, right? Uh, you need a burr mixer, hello. <laughs> what up, James? <Jay's> whisk. <laughs> You're on the tip. So yeah, so it's time to show love to those people who have birthdays this week as we do here on Lunch Break. We want to recognize you guys for passing another, as Melissa would say, another cycle around the earth to your birthday. And of course, uh, damn babe, you're not here. You want me to do the first one? You already know which one it is? You know what? I'll, I'll wait till you're here to do that one. I, I'll, I'll wait till you're here for that one. So we'll leave it for later. So I want to wish a happy birthday to Willie whose birthday passed this Wednesday. Happy birthday to you, sir. We, we send you all the love and support from this place. Happy birthday to my uncle Emiliano, whose birthday was also this Wednesday. Happy birthday to you, sir. Happy birthday to my boy, Eric. Your birthday was yesterday, sir, man. Happy birthday. Hope you lived it up and did what you did doing whatever you do, because I have no clue. Um, happy birthday to Marlene, whose birthday was also yesterday. Uh, man, awesome love to you from lunch break. Happy birthday to Jen Pinto, one of our high school buddies. She, her birthday was, well actually no, her birthday's tomorrow. So happy birthday to you when it comes. Um, and then also, happy birthday to Maya. Yes, this is one of our friends, uh, Myra's daughter. Her birthday is coming up. Oh, actually no, I'm sorry. Came up already last Saturday. Um, happy birthday to you. You just completed another cycle in your, your birth year. Um, also, happy birthday to Sean. Being sent out by you by our awesome, awesome humble dude, Ralphie. Um, your birthday was yesterday, so happy birthday to you. You're, you, you just turned 18. Man, I wish I was 18. But happy birthday to you. <laughs> and happy birthday to all the babies. Who having birthdays this week, if I haven't mentioned it and I don't have it listed somewhere, happy birthday to you guys. Legit. So when you come here, baby, there's two that you got to do, okay? But happy, 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 happy birthday here from Lunch Break. We love you guys. In five minutes away. Okay. All right, good. So you'll do those when, when you come in. All right? Is that going to stop? Oh, we got 20 seconds before it stops. Oh, yeah. Because then we're going to be doing the essence. Not glaze. Essence. I don't know. Either way, it still sounds funny. <laughs> I can't help myself. <laughs> you called Siri just now so hot. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> How is Siri recognizing my voice? Wait, so you mean to tell me? <clears throat> For all those who have iPhone, better protect it. But don't, don't put the volume up. Hello, Siri. Hey, Siri. Call CK. <laughs> I don't think it will do that. It will be funny if it did, though. <laughs> oh, you already know what stopped. You already know what stopped. Oh, baby. Let's be smart. Right? Let's be smart. Oh, my God. Yo. Are you guys looking at this? Well, you guys are not looking at this. Now, what up, Reno? What's up, brother man? Hey, so 
Royalty, give a shout out to Rhino right now. Oh, wait, wait, no, actually, don't do it yet. Don't you, don't, don't, forget what I just said. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Wait, wait. That's coming up in a second. <laughs> I just realized that I haven't done that yet. <laughs> Alright, let's check this bad boy. Alright, so we want 160 degrees on this meatloaf. Got the therm thermometer on. We're sticking it in. Pause. Wow. Oh, look what it says there. Woo! Can you see that? I know you guys on, on Instagram can't see that. What does it say there? What does it say? Can you guys see it? Wait. Oh, look. It says 200. That's right. Look at it. 201. That's right. That's what you want. Ooh. I almost dropped that on glass. What well, is this glass? All right. So, as you can see, I know you guys are watching behind me. And you've seen the stars. Well, what we refer to as stars. Yes, that is an indication that the wife is home. So she'll be here soon. So now, let's pour our nice, beautiful glaze. I get old. I almost didn't make you guys watch. Let's watch this. Everybody's watching, everybody's watching, everybody's watching. Oh, my God. That is so satisfying. I'm just gonna get the spoon so we can get all the essence out. I can't. Ooh. Mm. We're just gonna help it out a little bit over here. Just help out, help out the essence to nicely go over this. That tasted good. That glaze alone tasted good. So now, now that we got this, the next thing to do is to pop it right back into the microwave for three minutes, and you're good, and gravy, and good to go. So let's do that. Boom. Right, wait, three minutes. Now, in the meantime, while that is prepping, for the last delivery of what we're gonna do, because we're gonna eat that sucker up. Let's give out the awesomest shout outs to all the people on the Twitch fam. First off, going out with hashtag, is it hashtag? Yes, hashtag OU812 Gaming Network, as always, to the fam and the clan, showing them love as always and support, because we're gonna do that every single time. And of course, Instagram needs to be looking at my face and not the, 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 this over here. So yeah, so let's start off with the Twitch fam. What up, Jazz? Oh, good. Now two people are on. All right, good. So the first shout out that we want to give out to goes out to Bilbo. This is a humble dude who's in connect with Nikki. And yo, you got to see them play together. It is awesome with Lady. Yo, listen, you got to do it. You got to do it. So shout out to Bilbo. Twitch.tv forward slash B-I-L-B-O 8969. Yes, go to this dude, show him some love. The next person I want to give a shout out to, <laughs> I'm looking at that, <laughs> um, goes out to Rhino. Shout out to Rhino Salty if you're still on there. Um, Twitch.tv, R-H-I-N-O-H-U-L-K, Rhino Hulk. Yes, go show this dude so much love that he cannot stand and be annoyed by it. So yes, go show him the man is love. Tell him CK sent you there. Tell him that the OU812 sent them there. Or sent you guys there. Um, and also, he is going to be doing a live 24-hour stream tomorrow. You guys have to go watch this. This dude is not going to sleep. And I want to see if he cannot fall asleep. Because I know I've done those hours. And that thing is crazy. So go show him mad love and support by going to his stream. Tell him CK and the OU812 clan sent you that way. I also want to take the time to recognize and give a major shout out to Jazza. Right? I hope I'm saying that right. I'll, I'll be blasphemy if I, if I don't say people's name right because that sucks. Um, yeah, so mad love to Jazz's a shout out. Go visit her, show her some mad love and support at twitch.tv forward slash J A Z D A Goddess G O D D E S S. 
Yes, go show her mad love and support. You guys got to go out there. Damn, oh, I got to give you um, uh, moderator rights, Sinister, so, so those things can work. Um, yeah, I don't know why they don't work on their own. Oh, right, moderator. Stupid. I'm not learning. <laughs> I just said it. <laughs> but yes, yes, yes. Go show these awesome people massive, massive, massive love and support. Because these are all home to... Oh my God, James, what are you doing, man? <laughs> ready? You already started that? <laughs> do not do... Listen, you guys don't have to do none of that. Trust me. All the love you guys do is awesome for me. That's all I'll do. Don't, don't do that. You're gonna, you guys are going to give me to the point where I'm crying again. <laughs> don't do that. But yeah, so show these do these people massive love to Bilbo, to Rhino, and to Jazza. Gotta go show that love and support as here we do as a community, because the only way we can be successful is by growing together. That's how we do as a whole team of family. That's how we do. What was that? Well, I know that just finished. So, and the rice is almost about to be finished. So you already know. The goodness is coming. The goodness is coming. <laughs> Thank you, Salty. Appreciate that. <laughs> Do one also for um for Rhino and for Jazza. I, I don't think um Bilbo's on right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. So yes, 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 so man, oh my, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, thank you James, <laughs> dude listen, you've been the number one support pillar, besides my wife Melissa, I gotta say it, actually, the three support, <laughs> you guys see that, the three massive major supports of everything that I've done all together, whether it's making books, writing books, doing movies, Doing TV, doing videos, doing cooking, all this has been from the three major support of my entire life. No offense, Dad. Please don't kill me. Um, I love you, Dad. Don't kill me. Um, you know, has to go out to my boy Joshua, to my boy James, who's right there. That's, that's James right there. Greek life, only life I know, that's James. Um, and also my wife, Melissa. They have been the ones who have given me the motivation and inspiration to do what it is that I do on a daily basis, no matter what it is. Those three pillars of support are always the ones who I look to and just say, you know what, there's a reason for why we do what we do. So, major awesomeness to those three individuals, because even when I wrote my first book, I did a dedication um, page just to them alone for literally making who I am today by molding and putting those inspiration, I, I, I'm even lost for words right now, I can't even explain, for doing what they do and literally allowing me to be who I am. So thank you to you guys, legit. You know, thank you to, to the Twitch fam, thank you to the Facebook people, you to everyone in the world, thank you guys for creating who I am today because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. We wouldn't have these connections, we wouldn't have these bonds that we share with each other. And look, just in time, the rice is finished. <laughs> that was that was that was perfect. <laughs> All right, so the rice is finished. Let's look at the masterpiece that we just created in the microwave. That only took about 15 minutes. And there's the wife, Melissa. Woo! Which arm is it? Don't my left arm. Okay, no, nah, so this way I make sure that I don't I don't yeah. touch it. But there you go. Here's the wife, everybody. Woo! So yes, the. Meatloaf is done. You gonna take your meat out? Wow. <laughs> I got some more for that one. <laughs> oh, the, I just placed this over there. Um, stir the uh, the rice, and then add some um, what you call it, some oil into it. And then that should be ready to go. Alright, let's look at this <clears throat> meat that everybody's been waiting to see. You wanna see his meat? Oh god. I can't say it any other way. Yes, you can. I can? Yeah. How? You can say, look at this dish. Oh, well, look at the meatloaf. <laughs> I can say that. The loaf of meat? The loaf of meat. <laughs> That's the 
So there you have it, people. Here's our meatloaf. Already done, prepared, and ready to be. Why am I staring at this fucking spoon? Right? Hey, this one's right here. Just watch this one. Fucking take it. <laughs> I don't know why you took that one. What happened to the other one? Oh, she, I forgot she used it. But yes, yeah, so here's our meatloaf, people. Now we're gonna take it out. Take out the meat. Wait, can we take it out of this? Because it has juice at the bottom. <laughs> That's what she said. I can't with you right now. You can, that's why you married me. That is true. That is. Oh, damn, she used the last one. Big, I mean... Why can you give me the oil, please? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you want me to do that? <laughs> no. Um, Sinister said, hey, Mel. Uh, damn, I'm blasting fucking oil all over the place. <laughs> Shit, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> You guys are not see what's going on on the side. I'm not well, right actually, no, right I think now. you can't, can't see it. I'm not right at the moment. Oh. I'm really you not. Want right. just do it? You want me to just do it? You can just sit down? I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm alright. Alright. Um, Jazza said, that looks so good now. I'm hungry. <laughs> Mel, it is just in time to. Yes, yeah, she is. She's just in time to eat. That's what she said. <laughs> alright. I'm going to. Should I take this out and put it on the cutting board instead? On the big one? Yeah, let me put it on the big one instead. Mm -hmm. Let me put it on the big one instead. So this way, it looks more desiring. Do the smell vinegar. Well, you smell the apple cider vinegar. Whoa. Yeah. That's what you smell. Suckers hitting me in the back of the throat. Wow, that's what you Wow! Said. What the? I'm on a roll today. Oh my god! I'm gonna fucking roll. That's They're gonna walk away from that! I know you don't. Oh, damn! Alright, I'm gonna take this thing off. Oh damn, alright. Oh damn what? No, it <laughs> Ooh, bam. Damn, I'm just gonna... This thing is so hot, I'm burning my hand, but I don't care. <laughs> yeah, she's looking at it, and she wants to take it. What, I wanna take it, me? Wow. <laughs> I don't think I should have done this episode. <laughs> oh, damn. I can't. I can't. <laughs> there you go. Right, I'm going to put that to the side. <laughs> I can't think of what she's saying. <laughs> Jay said just in time. Let me get that for a second. <laughs> Girl, never late to get that meat. Oh, my God. <laughs> what happened, Target Rush? <laughs> I'm sorry if I look like a mess, guys. Like, I'm tired. No, it's all good. Salty said it looks good. <laughs> um, what, the meat? Wow. Wow. The meatloaf. The meatloaf, okay? The meatloaf. That's my girl. TVMA. <laughs> I can't, man. Um, let me get the knife. Or should I just take it myself? Because I don't know. Okay, good. Because I don't know how you are right now. So there's little ridges, like you can literally. Yeah, that's what that's that's what, that's yeah. why I wanted to use this one. Because the other one was like straight and flat. That's what she said. Ah, uh, uh, I'll, I'll tell her in a second. When dark and brush. Hold on one second. Oh my god. All right, so we're gonna cut into the meatloaf, okay? <laughs> you need an email that says that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but look at the color of this. Hold on, before I cut this, look at the color of how this looks. Look at that. That looks freaking crazy. And that was done in the microwave. In the microwave. And it did not take an hour. Okay? It did not take an hour, people. Alright, so I'm gonna cut. Uh, should I wait for the wife? Alright, she's good. So, I'm gonna cut into it. Oh my god, this thing is so tender. I'm sorry, my mouth just got water. <laughs> just look at, look at this. I gotta, I gotta cut another one. Hold on. Wow. 
Wow. Yes. You are hungry. <laughs> just as hungry. Just, yo, you gotta look at this. Let me get the um the tunnels. Mind you, like I said, this is our first time doing this. <laughs> oh, look, they about to. Oh Look at this craziness. Not my first. <laughs> Did you put pork rinds in it? No. Oh, that would have been awesome. I'm following the recipe. That would have been awesome. Alright, so you want to take uh, one piece so you can do a taste test with the rice? Or just the meatloaf itself? I don't care. Alright. That's all. Let me give her the uh, Zootopia slice. No. Oh, <laughs> I thought she was going to hit me. What was that? Oh my god, Sinister! Thank you for that, man! <laughs> oh my god, thank you for gift- Oh, th you just gifted my, my sensei a, a, a subscription. Thank you for that! <laughs> you wanna take this one? The small corner. Okay. Cut, cut it? Yeah, bro. Oh, I don't the know. What the fuck is wrong with you? Wake Th up. Thank you, Sinister. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for that love, man. She's gonna taste test my meat. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus. I didn't even stop myself from saying it, and I just said it, like... And I, I, I can't say the other thing I was going to say, that's if why I, I stopped myself. With your meat, we oh done. my god! <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen, I can't help it, because those type of things embarrass me just from saying why? it. Why? Because... It's... You're a 38-year-old man. Go I don't up. care! <laughs> that's too embarrassing. Listen, I'm not embarrassed to go in the store to buy certain products for you, but when it comes to certain things like that, it just, I can't. I left too much for it. Because <laughs> you're a child. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Jane said, nice. Looks proper. Thank you, thank you, man. Damn. What looks proper is meat. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Take it to the head. No. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God, James. <laughs> thank you for the good. Man. Thank you for that. <laughs> Welcome to the to the <clears throat> Christian Night Hour. <laughs> Welcome to the family. <laughs> oh man, Red Demon, thank you um, for for being part of the family now. <laughs> Get him, Mel. <laughs> That's what she does. <laughs> All day. Oh shoot. Oh my God, James, really? <laughs> in the ear. Sorry. In the ear. This is a repeat of last week. Sorry, in the ear. sorry, sorry. <laughs> Thank you, James. Do you really? Oh my goodness. It, it, yo, what is it that you, you keep snatching all these women away? Like, what's going on here? I got the Ruby Rose I'm thing going. You, you, you're gonna have to do this show that everybody's pushing you to I do. I got that Ruby Rose like, come thing on, can, going. Can I get a hashtag get Mel on Twitch? People, can I get a hashtag? Listen, get on I can't people? help it that I have that Ruby Rose thing going on. Hold on one second. Go ahead, go ahead. Like, seriously, right? She should do a Twitch, right? She should do a show. Yeah. Listen, I'm going to take a bite of this. Because she, she, she took a bite. I'm taking a bite. Okay. Smells good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god, change your clothes. Thank you so much. Salty, give a shout out to Danger Clothes. Yes, I do. Actually, Thank you so much for that. Oh my god, this is oh, this is dangerous. Do not make this. Yes, get mail on Twitch. Thank you so much, Danger Clothes. Oh my god, that is dangerous. That is legit dangerous, and you can make this in 15 minutes. 15 minutes, people. You can make this right now. Go to your home, grab some ground meat, put it together, and make this. Oh my God! <laughs> Thank you, James. Yo, so, funny story. Uh oh. Funny story. When I was younger, right? Yeah. I used to think that I didn't fit into any like type of like mold. Like I didn't think I appealed to anybody. I thought I would okay. just be like kind of free floating. Like I'd just be. Bleh. Right? Okay, okay. So apparently, Twitch has this thing going where I guess I don't I don't know what it is about me. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's my personality. Oh my God! Thank you, Jay. Um, is it is it? I don't know what it is. I can't even begin <laughs> oh to tell you what it is. But guess what? 
I'm here for it. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the love. Danger, danger close. Thank you for the love. It's a repeat of what um, happened last week. <laughs> danger close said on my work and hungry, and that looks so good. Uh -huh. So how was it? It was good. What do you mean? What's going on? What What do you mean? What's going what's on? Come on, give your opinion. Like, was it Was it juicy? Was it? Was your meat nice? juicy? Oh my god. <laughs> Some days it's good, some days Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> By the way, guys, I am doing great after the vaccine. I am not having yeah, so any issues as of yet. Melissa the only thing had her, very, like, tired. Oh my god, did you just say hydrate? Don't do hydrate. So, Melissa had her second shot today. Mm -hmm. You know, so, actually, she, she, the first time when she got it, she was feeling a little sick only because of the fact that it's like almost like when you get the flu shot. Mm -hmm. So that's how she was feeling. So I did prepare some stuff for her. Yeah, it's like gonna I said, happen again today. I, I'd rather her, you know, be okay and you know just lay down. And, she's and trying rest. to take my insurance money. That's all it is. Got a pretty good insurance policy. Mm -hmm. I love you. Got a pretty good insurance policy. I'm just saying. Accidental deaths <laughs> are, are much more than than um, in t intentional deaths. Are you serious? Wait, is that why you tell me to go the balcony every time you put the lights on? <laughs> Thank you, James. If I told you to look over the edge just to make oh sure I'm uh, standing on a standing on a chair, then then that might be questionable. But. Oh my god! <laughs> Danger close. Thank you for subscribing, man. We greatly appreciate that. Yeah, man. I, don't, I don't know what it is about going back to listen. You know, what listen, do I appeal to? She, she, so look, I got that Ruby Rose thing going. Look, I guess look, I don't listen, know. Took, I look like I got dark silver on my eyes. Listen, she okay. took Lady. She took Ashley. Now, now you have Jaws out with you. Why are you so mad, though? I'm not mad. I'm, I'm trying to get you to do a show. That's what it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. <laughs> not that type of show. Hey, hey, no, that's mine. Don't show him that. Oh Sharing is caring. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Sharing thank is caring. Listen, all I know is that this thing is delicious. I, is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it for real. Honestly, it is. No, it's good. I, honestly, it's... I I went in my, with my doubt because it was in the microwave. It's not thank that, you guys. Thank it's, you. Thank it's you. It's not that bad. Like I can see eating this, right? But with some potato bread. My thing is, mind you, when I did the glaze, <clears throat> essence, as Sinister said. <laughs> um. You spread your essence across the meat. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. No. Wait. Is that why you made me say that, Sinister? Yes. Jesus. I didn't catch up to that one. What's going on on Facebook? Because you know what this is going on. Jason's the one that's there. Oh, James? Yeah. Aww. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, Close. Thank you. We need a woman in power show to get our women off. Uh, woman of the OUA. Yes. Okay, so. Yes. Before we di divert to what's going on that, here, right? Way. So, I don't think. I can bring anything to the community in that sense because I'm not a gamer. I'm not. Twitch is not only about games, though. We, I'm not a gamer. Look, look when we did the chats. We don't play any games on the chat. And you just going ham on the. Uh, nope. You nope. Nope. Not saying it. Not this time. I'll say it. I'm going ham oh on the meat. Oh my god. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anywho, back at the farm. Let me behave myself. <laughs> yeah, okay. Because you're going to have to, like... That's not going to happen. <laughs> you're going to have to air this on, on TV, and it's not going to be good. It's already airing on TV. <laughs> it sucks to be me, doesn't it? <laughs> no. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. No, Surely does. No, Surely does, boom. Like I said, it sucks to be me. Oh, my... <laughs> <laughs> if I had real glasses, they'd be fogging up right now. <laughs> but I cook and have a great personality. That is what I love. That is awesome. Well, we love that. I will tell you this much. I don't know if anybody's on Facebook besides James. No, no, no. Go ahead. Um. Oh, James said I barely watch gamers on Twitch. See? Okay. So here's the thing. When I was younger, before I went into high school, I thought I wanted to be a chef. I think I said this a couple of episodes back. Was that why we were in home ec? Well, no, we were just in home ec because you were just chasing tail. Anyway, um, back at the farm, um, I thought I was going to go into culinary school. Like, I legit thought after I even went into high school, when I went into the, um, I was supposed to go to a culinary art competition. Okay. I never made it. For whatever reason, I did not. But I've always had this passion for, 
cooking and the way I see cooking is similar to when people work on um, on paintings or when they work on um, on clay pieces like you put all your being all your your soul into the food and people can tell when you put your what they say they put your you put your foot in it um, yeah I, d I definitely thought I was gonna be a cook and it ended up that I was not I ended up turning into a first responder so there you have it that was my little spiel and Chris just disappeared Sorry. all because he wants to get his charger Oh, you're not going to lose anybody. So I'm just kind of like picking at this right here. <laughs> she takes... Nope. <laughs> she's taking the sauce. Oh, yes, she is. No, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say the essence. Oh, she's taking the essence, yeah. Oh, my God. That's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Oh, my God. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> but I am. You can and you will. <laughs> I am. I'm just... Oh, man. I should have just done this in the beginning. There you go. All right, now we got power. So, but there you yeah, have my little so, spiel. Ma imagine, right? Melissa was supposed was gonna be was supposed to be named Natasha. She thank, was. You, thank you for the bits. Stage your clothes. Um, as a culinary person, I was supposed to be named Natasha. I told my daughter the story just the other day on her birthday, actually, because she asked me. Well, she knows why she was named Tila, but she asked if there was any other name I was gonna name her, and I said Jade. So, for years, when I found out that my name was supposed to need, be Natasha, I was like, damn, do I look like a Natasha? Or do I not look like a Natasha? And what does a Natasha look like? True. So, True. that was supposed to be my name when I was born, but my dad decided to tell my mom, or this is the way the story goes. The story goes that my dad told my mom that he was not, she was not naming me Natasha <laughs> for whatever reason and named me Melissa. And that's where my name came about. So there you have it. Drunk history. Mm. Listen, I love Melissa. Melissa's good. Mm. <laughs> okay. Screwed up. No, you're not. Listen, that's what we love about you. Mm. Let's see what's going on on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, so. Where my girls at? From the front to back, and did you feel it? Oh my god. Put right, so. my hand up. Let's make the next little presentation here. Throw in this Yeah. <laughs> Are you saying that because there's no more <laughs> sauce? I definitely can see that between potato bread, like I can. Yes. Well, I was thinking about this I'm as badass. I was thinking about this as a what you call it? Um, like how they do the sloppy joes. Mm. No, you wouldn't see that. I wouldn't see that. I'm trying to put these there. All you need is two. But I want three. All you need is two. But I want three. Bang. There. Now you're putting.
And someone tried calling my phone, so we got disconnected. Sorry about that. No, you're not. Oh, my God. <laughs> How would you say that? Because I did. <laughs> Grab five. <laughs> did you close it? Grab five. So, uh, thank you, everybody, once again. Um, this is the presentation piece right there. You guys can see how it looks right there. This is how it came out. So we made our meatloaf in the microwave. So thank you once again for everyone who has been here for showing me the love. Um, I don't know why that's not working anyway. Um, we greatly appreciate you guys. Thank you, Melissa, for being on here and showing you guys the taste testing of the, uh, the meat. <laughs> meatloaf. Um, and greatly appreciate that. So, <laughs> so don't forget to go visit all our social medias, which you guys will see here on the edited version. Of course, go visit Melissa. Oh, snap. <laughs> really? <laughs> you gotta say it that way. Um, and also, don't forget to go show us love on our Twitch and show the OU812 clan some love and support as you guys do to me. Definitely appreciate that. And of, of course, don't forget to go to Rhino's stream tomorrow. Um, he's going to be doing a 24-hour stream. So thank you, thank you once again to everyone who came on the Twitch, the, the YouTube, the Instagram, the Facebook, all over the place. Thank you once again. We love you guys and greatly appreciate you. So as always, as we say here on Lunch Break, don't settle for less. And make it your best. Wait, fat. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's going to be your new slogan now. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Catch you later. Bye. <laughs> Bye.